So yeah, guys, guess what? I took out all the uh, Cisco switches and everything I had up here, so now it's just... I mean, I have other stuff up here, but it's kind of junky. So I just got my 1811 or 1841 up here that I have, and my old computer that I used to have. Uh, that's probably about five years old. Then I have a standalone printer that I have on DHP reservation. But it's not it's not doing anything. I just don't know. I don't have anywhere to put it. Now I do have a cable that goes all the way into my gaming room, computer office, and everything else. But for right now, since I live in, in a townhouse that I rent, I'm I'm just taking the cable and then I'm just throwing it in here. That way it can just you know come around the corner and just be underneath the door for right now. But um yeah, I mean, that's that's all I can do. So, I'm just going to go down to the downstairs, turn on the light here. Um, so, I got everything in here now. As you can see, I still got the wire up there. Okay, so, I figured out how to get the light on. And that's what I'm drawing currently right now with all my stuff on. It's about... 270 and it's, it's around there um, I can get some more accurate information on what my draw is if anybody wants to see it but um, I have Comcast right now just a uh, home let me uh, zoom in there so I got the uh, ASA sitting up here this is currently what's doing all my IPsec tunnels from you know my family's homes and all the friends that I do home labbing with um, I have a bezel up here that doesn't really work, but for some reason it sticks in the unit for an R710, but when I buy another R710, I'm just going to use this and just let it sit there, because I'm not going to unlock it or anything, but, um, I did have a Ubiquiti cloud key that I was using, um, it's still powered on just in case I need it, it's only drew drawing like 2 watts of electricity, um, uh, but I moved that over to a Hyper-V, or not Hyper-V, but like a VMware ES6i host on a Debian uh, 8.5 box. So, of course, I got my Comcast modem up here. Um, I have color cabling for uh, you know what's my internet. And this is my black cable for my for my uh, cord to my cable. So, I have stacking back here. Of course, unless I'm doing like a long run, I'm gonna use use fiber but I'm looking at doing I have the stacking going on so these two switches well this one's not operational right now because it's only 100 meg but uh, when I get my video cameras up in my new house and I'm looking at getting I'm going to um, I'm gonna run all those off that 100 meg switch and just do the stacking across that and anything this gigabit's going to sit on this gigabit switch here um, I'm gonna turn it around so I can show you everything on the back but I just wanted to talk about this um, I'm gonna eventually once I get Comcast Business I'm gonna have that as my uh, entry and then I'm gonna route through and then I'm gonna go into a Cisco I ISR router this one's gonna be upgraded from the uh, 2851 to a 3945 or 3945E uh, eventually especially if I get with Comcast Business or the Com or, uh, Verizon Fios but then I also have this down here. This one's easier to get off. Uh, a lot lot better than the other one. But right now I have, uh, this is running two 6 cores, hyper threaded, uh, 12 threads, so it's 24 cores. It's got 72 gigs of RAM in it, but the next host I get, I'm going to get probably about 256 gigs of RAM. Uh, I'm also going to use, the next host I'm going to get is going to be I think two, two terabytes and eight drives, and then I'm going to use that to store everything on. Then I'm going to move all my VMs over to that other host through a vMotion on a vCenter two or a vCenter, and then I'm going to upgrade these to 600 or 900 gig 15k drives. So my flash had to turn off, um, something with cooling, but. So this one used to be my old ES6i host, but it consumes too much, and I upgraded that a while ago. So, yeah. 
fun stuff. So, the light's on because I need to get some power units, of course. Um, there's going to be a whole video on that. So, I'm going to pause this right now, and I'm going to move the rack forward so you can see it. So, yeah, my phone's being a dingus. So, this is the back of the rack. Um, of course, the Aries is my Cisco modem. I mean, I said Cisco modem. Is my uh, surfboard SB6141. That's on a Comcast uh, 240 12 package. Um, for my Cisco stuff, the ASA, the yellow cable, is my internet in. The blue to the right of the yellow cable is my internet out. Uh, going into my uh, VLAN for uh, my house. The uh, GE management cable, that's for me to manage it. Um, the top switch here is the one that's powered off. Does have a fiber module in it. I'm going to do some fiber redundant links just in case. Uh, for some reason, the the back uh, stacking cables go out. Um, I have a Seagate drive there that's doing some uh, Veeam backups on it, some local disk backups. And here is the Catalyst 3750G. That's the one that uh, is hosting all my stuff in it, as you can see for right now. Um, sorry the lighting's bad, but my phone's being dumb. So, that's the one I'm using for right now. I'm looking to get 3850s eventually. Um, but that'll be a little bit before they drop down in price, because they're about like $2,000 a piece. There's that... Um, 2851 that I was talking about. It's got a WIC card in it I was using before, but there's the R710. It's got the USB into it for the uh, Veeam backups, and it's got four NIC cards for um, my different VLANs I have for my V switches and, uh, you know, my in and out for any uh, PF sense or untangle stuff I want to do. And it's also got a uh, iDRAC management card as well so I can get into it if it shuts off for some reason and down below is also my 2950 that's powered off I took out the redundant power for right now like I said I'm having some power issues and I just gotta scrape some money together to get the right one for uh, a UPS I'm thinking about a trip light one because they're relatively uh, price to power price to watt friendly I guess so I'm just I know you guys are going to say this is bad, but I'm running off of this <laughs> power strip here. <laughs> not the best idea, but I mean, I'm not running anything mission critical. Um, and all the data is backed up. I mean, I do site, I do DR backups. I have an off-site 50 mile away backup, so over the WAN tunnel I do that. Over that WAN IPsec tunnel. So, this is the back of it. Um, I'm going to stop here and um, close everything up. So, I got it back, and it's back where it's supposed to be. <laughs> One thing I did want to mention, too, is I got that Ubiquiti uh, AC Pro right there, too. I think it's pretty awesome. You just have to have it properly set up. I mean, I can't put things in the ceiling, so it doesn't make much sense for me to do a lot of work. Uh, and then either get charged for it or, you know, have to take everything out when I'm going to be moving in six months to a year anyway, so it doesn't really make much sense. So, thanks guys, and uh, thanks for checking it out. Um, give my videos a like, subscribe for more content. Uh, I do have a site called hotmods.net. The name's probably going to be changing, but uh, it does have some good content on there, and we can always talk. Um, always comment on the videos and I don't mind chatting and finding some people to work with. So, thanks guys. Bye.